What's going on, fellas? What we're looking at here is a high temperature foundry burner. Now, my target temperature is 2300 degrees Fahrenheit, flame temp. I don't know if it's going to be able to pull that off, but those are the specs required, and I think this might be the burner to do it. We built a larger version of this burner out of steel that's pretty much eating itself alive pretty quick and this particular shape does very well and what i'm thinking is going to happen is i'm going to get the front of this thing glowing hot and that's going to help heat the flame up as stupid as that sounds it will use some of the energy from the fuel to heat up the combustion chambers so hot that they actually preheat the incoming gases and air which will cause the flame temperature to increase this is a foundry burner meant to cast steel get as hot as the hand dragon ironically something about that design the hand dragon got the 2280 2280 Fahrenheit let's check it out with the bigger air compressor and then I think what I'll do is maybe chop an inch off the front of that thing it's just too big Okay, we got about 6.5 horsepower worth of air at our disposal this time. Let's give this a shot with more air. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to make the discharge bigger. That's what it's looking like.
Okay, so there you have it. Man. So as I suspected, it was going to take every little bit of gas that bottle could give us to pull this off. That's one of the main reasons I wanted to chop the front of the burner off. It wouldn't burn that much fuel choked up that badly. I could tell it was surging. And for the most part, we hit the target. We exceeded the target temperature, but then our bottle boiled off. Essentially what happens is the gas in there starts to boil so badly that it cools things off, reducing the internal tank pressure. So we'd have to set that tank out in the sunlight. This thing's going to um, probably last quite a while. It's stainless steel. And for the most part, uh, I'm glad it pulled it off. We just got to do something to mitigate that frost. It's like a freaking rocket engine over there. Now, the max temperature of this thermocouple is right around that. I believe it's uh, 2370 or something like that. It's supposed to have an alarm on it. It did not trip the alarm. So as far as a review for this thing goes, I'll leave a link in the description for this thermocouple. I've totally heat shocked all the ceramic off of it, but uh, I also got a condensation leak here. My braze didn't seal. I didn't grind that metal good enough. Other than that, uh, looking pretty good. Very pleased with how well this turned out. I almost didn't think it was going to hit it.